Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And if there's one thing I know this channel loves, it's game development and free stuff. So I've got both of those things today in today's announcement. And today's announcement is literally for today. If you watch this tomorrow, I apologize. You are too late. Uh, but this actually broke on the Game From Scratch Discord. So if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in game development news, do consider checking out the Game Development Discord. I will have a link down below. This one broke by uh, Zenobrain. Uh, this was actually up on Hacker News. And what happened is there is a uh, framework called the Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit. I covered this when it was included on an itch.io bundle sometime last year. We'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, but basically, it trended on Hacker News. And when that happened, the author of uh, Dragon Ruby Toolkit uh, popped in. Uh, where did he go? Here we go. Uh, decided to do a flash sale given all the visibility the engine has gotten recently. You can get a standard license free for the next 24 hours. Now, it's actually, don't worry, you got a little bit more time than, what would that be, like eight hours, nine hours? Uh, but it is currently available for free right now. So head on over to itch.io. Again, this link will be in the linked article down below. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, uh, you now have, at least as of the time this gets published and live, at least 14 hours left to claim this for free. Uh, just log into your account, go ahead and download or claim, and it is yours uh, forever. So uh, that is the opportunity right now. In terms of what the heck are we talking about here? Well, this is the Dragon Ruby Game Framework. As I mentioned, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on it because I actually covered this back in uh, June 11th of 2020. I will link that in the linked article down below as well. Oh, I'm losing my voice. But you can see some of the key features, top-level DR stuff here right now. Uh, dirt Simple API is capable of creating complex 2D games as fast as hell. Uh, powered, uh, highly optimized C code written uh, by the creator of SDL. Uh, battle tested by Amir Rajan, critically acclaimed indie game developer. Tiny, uh, like really tiny. I think it's like 3.5 megabytes total size. It supports hot reloading real-time uh Coding, uh, optimized to provide constant feedback to the dev, uh, productive and active, an absolute joy to use. Uh, it works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. There is a premium version out there. Uh, that's a, a different license. We'll get to that uh, in just a second. So if you want to check out Dragon Ruby itself, it is available at dra dragonruby.org. Um, you see, they do have a bit of a breakdown of their features again here. So there's zero dependency installs. Uh, it's indie and community focused. They have their own Discord server, which is active. So if you've got any questions or comments and you want to check things out, you can head on over there. doesn't matter what IDE or editor you use. Um, it's lean, fast, and hot reloaded. It's again, uh, the C code was written by the guy behind uh, or one of the main core contributors of SDL uh, and worked on games such as Psychonauts, Quake, Unreal Tournament, uh, and... Uh, it's at games released on the Nintendo Switch as well. Like I said, it's like 3.5 megabytes in size. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, PC, Mac, Linux, and web, iOS, Android, and Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PS4. Uh, keep in mind that those console versions require uh, NDA. Uh, it's just a requirement of the console makers themselves. Here you can see an example of the script in action. I'm not much of a Ruby user. Generally, it's not really a good fit for this kind of stuff, but they've created their own version to make it work. If you are interested in checking it out, they do have their sandbox available. So you can see here, uh, this is a simple game, a shooter style game here. You can see that the code in between and or involved in it. Come here, you got a number of different uh, opportunities here or options here for showing you how to go ahead and code stuff. And as you can see, the code is quite quite simple uh, in terms of what it can do. So here, let's animate its sprites. And you can see the code here required to do sprite animations. It, it's really minimalistic code. It almost starts looking like Lua to me. Uh, but again, I, I am not a big Ruby person. I used it a little bit when Ruby on Rails was all the giant ra craze, but really that was about it. Also, if you want to learn or pick up the Dragon uh, Ruby Game Toolkit, there is a tutorial out there. I will also link this in the article down below. It's a full course, kind of walks you through everything you need to know to get up and started. Uh, so you're going to be looking at what, 10, 15, 20, 25, but 25 minutes, 30 minutes to go through the course. Uh, not a big deal, but that's everything you need to know to get up and started. Now, a quick note on the cost of the engine. What you're getting today for free is the standard edition, which is normally 50 bucks. Uh, there is a professional edition out there that is, this isn't the free version. It's more like 100 bucks. Uh, this is the one you need if you want to do iOS or Android development, or if you need access to C extensions, uh, bike 
code compilation and a few other things. Uh, so just uh, be aware that there is a more premium version out there. So if you are looking to create a commercial title with this, by the way, you can sell a uh, commercial title using the standard version on OS X, Windows, and Linux. But if you need uh, more speed or iOS development or Android development or probably console development, um, the professional version is still out there. Uh, and it's also quite heavily on sale right now. So uh, that is what you're getting here. It's the standard edition right here. Uh, again, there are 14-ish hours left to grab this one. Uh, so um, if you are interested, do be sure to grab that. Even if you you know aren't going to be uh, grabbing it anytime soon, uh, not a bad idea to pick this one up. Now, I wonder if this is localized. This is one of those things that I always kind of find funny. If, if it's due to my time zone, great. Uh, but if this comment is... Uh, not that's <laughs> kind of useless if you don't put the time zone in a worldwide thing so i'm curious what yours says is is this actually localized to the time zone of the viewer or is it just kind of a useless statement but anyways you have uh 14 ish hours left to grab this one for free oh you know what it's giving me a utc so i'm assuming it's localized to the user all right uh so that's it uh dragon ruby game toolkit i did another hands-on video with it if you want to learn a little bit more or you can just pick it up yourself it's free so that's it sorry to not give you a little bit more heads up. I do sleep sometimes, but uh, yep, Dragon Ruby is out there. Go grab it. Talk to you later.